Welcome to the nominations tutorial for the Breakthrough Prize. The Breakthrough Prize honors scientists who've made major contributions to life sciences, fundamental physics, or mathematics. Each prize awards $3 million and is presented at the live globally televised Breakthrough Prize ceremony. In physics and mathematics, there are also $100,000 New Horizons prizes given to junior researchers who have already made outstanding contributions. Making a nomination is a simple online process that's open to the public. This tutorial will take you through the steps. The place to go to make a nomination is the Breakthrough Prize website at www.breakthroughprize.org. At the top of the home page, click the Nominations tab. If you haven't registered yet, click on Sign Up, follow the instructions, and then come back to this page. If you've already signed up, just type in your email and password or sign in via Facebook or Google. Before you start your nomination, here are a few basic rules. Anyone can make a nomination. You don't need the permission of the scientist you're nominating. It's your nomination. It shouldn't be in the name of a university or institution. Unfortunately, you can't nominate yourself, however much you may deserve the prize. OK, you've logged in and are ready to start. First thing is to choose your category, fundamental physics, life sciences, or mathematics. Once you've made your choice, you'll be automatically taken to the nomination form. If you choose life sciences, you must then make a second choice. This year, there are four prizes available, three for all breakthroughs in life sciences and one designated just for achievements in Parkinson's disease or other neurodegenerative disorders. If you choose mathematics, you must also make a second choice. Are you nominating for Breakthrough Prize or the New Horizons Prize for junior researchers? Candidates for the New Horizons Prize should not be more than 10 years past the year they received their PhD. If you choose fundamental physics, like math, you must then choose between the Breakthrough Prize or the New Horizons Prize. Candidates for the New Horizons and Physics Prize should not be more than 12 years past the year they received their PhD. In the physics category, unlike life sciences and math, the prize can be shared among any number of scientists. Choose individual, group, or collaboration. If you choose group, click Add Member to include a second or third or more nominees. The collaboration choice should be used for large experiments. If you choose this category, you can designate representatives of the collaboration. At this point, you'll need to add some biographical info on your nominee. Now describe what you're nominating them for. A 25-word citation summarizing their key discovery and a 500-word brief description of the work's significance and impact in its field. Next, you'll need to link to at least one publication by the nominee from a designated database. You can add up to 10 by clicking on the Add Publication link. Next, upload a supporting letter written by a third party, not you or the nominee. You will need to upload at least one letter. You can add up to three by clicking the Add Recommendation Letter link. If you've completed all the fields and uploaded at least one supporting letter and you're happy with your nomination, press Submit. Alternatively, if you want to come back to it later, press Save and the details you've added will be stored under My Nominations for the next time you log in. Make sure you complete and submit your nomination before the submission deadline. And that's it! If you have any questions, feel free to contact office at breakthroughprize.org. Thanks, and good luck to your nominee!